Yoko's life still wasn't easy. In public, many people continued to show her hostility. Oh, I'm sure that there are many people scared of me or suspicious of me or whatever. Well, I feel sorry for them. <laughs> you know, I feel like saying, well, don't worry, you don't have to be scared. Now, who's going to be doing that? In particular, some of John Lennon's family have criticized the way she has handled his legacy. I was mostly upset by the fact that I didn't receive any of his actual belongings as far as guitars and pianos and uh, I think she's probably one of the most insecure women I've ever met in my life you know but she plays it from a very uh, she tries to play it from a very powerful role you know power role do you understand at all why he he could have been so critical oh, Julian. Julian well I think that he's um, a very pained person now and uh, he's going through his pain and I hope one day he's going to come through that and maybe become a happier person. But um, he's expressing his pain in the way he wants to. And it's to do with his pain more than to do with maybe me, I don't know. When people badmouth my mom in general in the press, whether it's you know, a, a critic or just a reporter or, you know, especially if it's Julian or something, she really, really gets hurt by it. By 1993, Yoko's daughter, Kyoko, was considering whether to get back in touch. Her father, Tony Cox, had taken her into hiding after a bitter custody battle 22 years earlier. She was about to get married. When I became engaged, I told my husband that before I have children, I will want to contact my mother. I just don't feel it's right for me to become a mother without at least letting my mother know that I'm alive and well. How could I stand loneliness? Lonely. And so I called her up and of course got like an assistant or someone like that and I was very nervous, and they just said, I would like to speak with Yoko Ono, please. I'm a relative of hers. And he goes, well, what's your name? And I said, well, I'm not, I'm not going to say. <laughs> and he said, well, come on, you should at least tell me your name. So I said, I'll just give you a phone number. If she wants, she can call me back. And, uh, and he said, OK. So uh, just a few minutes later, my mother called. <laughs> And it was like, wow, you know. Has it been difficult getting to know her again? No, I mean, she's a very intelligent, very quick and sensitive soul, and uh, I'm very independent, too. And um, we get along very well as friends. In the last few years, Yoko has returned to her art something she's relied on throughout her life. She never allows anything in her life to interfere with her being a creative person. I really feel for her, creativity is the number one most important thing. Above all, above her relationships, above her, above me. If we're, if we're driving, you know, to a movie theater in a taxi, she'll be like, <gasps> Get me a piece of paper, you know, and she'll like write something down and, you know, a, a couple of days later it'll either be like some art piece or a painting or, or a song or something and she's just incredibly creative. Is she happy? No. She doesn't laugh as loud or as often. I think she has less to look forward to. You know, I spoke to her on the phone a few days ago, and you know, she's given me this list of things that she's doing, and you know, experiences. They're all genre-related, they're art-related, etc. Um, sometimes I wonder if she ever considers what life would be like without doing all of that. That would be the real loneliness. All the things that she continues to do 
keeps her connected to the only one she ever loved, which was John Lennon. It's not something you ever get over. I think it's something that eventually you might get used to. You know, when you get cut really deeply, the wound will heal, but there'll always be a scar. And um, this is a wound that's easily opened. I think that there were many magical things that happened in my life. And people want to deny each one of them for some reason. Yes, those things did happen. And not, not, not all of them were beautiful or nice, but the beautiful things did happen too.